So, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Welcome back. So today, my garage is a hot mess. Uh, there, there's really no other way to explain that. It, I just, I have so much crap in here. Let me show you. I cleaned up this corner. It took me forever. But I got no room to work. Tractor parts, tractor, wood stored everywhere. It's just, I got no room. And what I'm tired of tripping over is that. So, I could put it out back, but I, I just got to find a way to store it vertically so that, it, A, it's easier to move around and it's just up and out of my way. And I, I need to get the blades off anyway to sharpen them. So, thank God for YouTube, I guess, I was doing some research on storage stands and how to store the mower deck. And um, yeah, I found this video. I'm going to modify some of the things a little bit. So what so we're going to do is we're going to remove these back casters, both of those, and we'll store those. And we're going to create uh, wheels that we can move this thing around. We'll be able to stand it up and it'll take up a whole lot less space. Let me show you the parts that we got to put there. So this is all we need. I got four tires. You know, they're a semi-solid seven inch wheel. Picked them up from Harbor Freight. They're about six bucks a piece. And went to Lowe's and grabbed half inch all thread with some half inch flat washers and the uh, hex nuts. And then I went to Ace Hardware and found these, which is a three quarter to one by two and a half inches. So it's two and a half inches long. And what that's going to do is we'll put the all thread through here and then the spacer will go into here because this is a one inch hole that we have to fill. So this shouldn't be too awfully hard. The all thread I'm going to cut to one foot lengths. The, currently that length that I got from Lowe's was it's in two foot section. So let me get that cut. Pieces. I just gotta get that uh, burr off of that one right there. No, no two one foot pieces. So I'll get these cleaned up. Put the hex nuts on there just so I can uh, back them off and clean up any uh, burrs or thread. That way we can thread it. All right, got my safety glasses on. Use the grinder real quick. Just uh just to clean up those edges. Uh, don't know how this is going to work or how I'm going to uh, position the camera, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Should be good. So now what we need to do, take a washer, and we're going to take the spacer, 
I'll put that on there. This. Space around. We got a nut and a washer on this side, and this will go on the mower deck. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put another nut on here. Washer. Wheel. We got just enough room for a washer. And another nut. Bust that up a little bit. Doesn't need to be super tight. Slide this back on. And then basically, you know, we'll have another washer another nut and then we'll do the same thing with the other tire on the other side. So let me get this on the mower deck and we'll show you. Okay so I got the jack stand underneath the mower deck just to lift it up off the ground. Took the wheel off. And all that holds that in is you know pin and a ring. So there's the wheel. And what we're gonna do we're going to bring this up into here, just like so. Put another one here. Just going to rub, it's pretty good. So, like I said, we're going to put another not on here. Give me a second to put Washer. So that, that's what that looks like. Okay. So let me get the other wheel on over there. Wheels are on, and all I gotta do, I got all the crap off of it, moved it away a little bit. These nuts can be tightened up nice and tight, and it's not gonna matter because it's gonna spin within here. So I don't have to worry about lock nuts, and really and truly, it's just gonna be here in the garage anyway. I just need to get it up and out of the way somewhere I can move it. So let's get this thing stood.
now I have this mower deck on wheels and it moves nice and easy. And what's even better is now I can get to the underside, I can get the blades off and sharpen them real quick and then throw them back on. I may have to adjust the wheels a little bit. Looks like it is rubbing just a just a smidge. So yeah, I'll adjust those, but pretty simple. So how much did all of this cost me? So all in all, uh, pretty easy, simple. Gets my mower deck up off the floor. I'm no longer stepping over and tripping over it. And this was not an expensive project at all. So the two foot long all thread half inch was I believe six bucks. I got my sales receipt right here. Um, actually it was less, it was 448. And so five bucks for that. Um, five dollars and fifty cents for the project pack of hex nuts it's got 25 in there I only used two four I only used six I only used half of that I used a dozen hex nuts and the same number of flat washers so the flat washers were also five dollars and fifty cents so and the spacers were the most expensive things. They were $13 and change a piece. So $14, so 28 bucks total um, for those spacers. You could probably find them a little bit cheaper out there. I've seen guys uh, that I, the guy I watched on YouTube, he, he had like half inch PVC inside a three quarter inch PVC with a one inch um, aluminum sleeve. I found this to be just a whole lot easier. Just go to Ace Hardware. I found the spacers, two and a half inches long is perfect. And you know what, my mower deck is up and out of the way. And a whole lot easier to rotate and, well not, a whole lot easier to move around now. And I don't have to trip over it. And once I get the blades off and get them sharpened, I can just, you know, slide this thing up against the wall and move it when I need to. Uh, yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy. And there you have it, and it really and truly it moves super easy. Seems pretty sturdy. So yeah, that's all you need. Uh, two foot total length of half inch all thread, half inch flat washers, half inch hex nuts, and those spacers. That's it. All right. <laughs> Talk to you later.